Hi everyone, it's me, the sick Domotaku. Yes, I am still sick. If you can tell in my voice, then I apologize. If I talk weird, I apologize. And to make it more worse, it's raining outside. So if you hear rain in the background, I apologize. This is like one of the worst conditions to record a video. But I wanted to make a video because the new anime season is starting. I'm finally not doing nothing, laying down, being lazy, and not watching anime. I still have a lot of anime to watch. This one I just saw on YouTube, so I was like, I gotta watch something new. Anyways, we're talking about Bang Dream, second season. Second season, um, uh, wow, this, this anime. So, honestly, I was kind of iffy about this second season for Bang Dream, because Bang Dream, the first season, indeed, it did, um, get me into the whole, like, sort of gist and universe of Bang Dream, because I watched the anime first, then I got into the game, and then the second season was announced, and I was like, what would they do for a second season based off the anime or the game, maybe, right? I thought the second season would be just, like, an adaptation of what we do in the game so far. And I thought, like, that's what's gonna be it. And it somewhat is, but somewhat isn't. So what I mean by that is the second season, overall, I enjoyed because it does provide a lot of um, character development for everyone. And it is way past the first season of Bank Dream and also the game of Bank Dream Girls at Party, to my knowledge. Because... A lot of stuff has changed in this anime, or at least it feels like I'm pretty sure a year has went by in this anime. Like, all the main characters in Pop and Party are like second years or something like that, and then Akko's in junior high, so she's not an elementary school kid anymore. And then um, Rinko's the student council president for the school, and then also um, Hina is. And then um, Rimi's sister went to college overseas, and I'm just like, whoa, this is like. A lot of shit happened, so I like this season so far because it does show a lot of change and progression throughout the characters and the series overall. Because none of this is, I'm pretty sure, correct me if I'm wrong, but none of this is a thing in the girls band party game. Because I'm pretty sure at that time, you know, they're still first years, and then like, Sayo is the student council president at the time. And just a bunch of things are really different, so overall this goes beyond the first season and the game. Which I'm super enjoying because everything uh, we're gonna get, assumingly, is new. So that's one thing I really liked about it. Um, the animation, ooh, this is a really big change from the first season. Now, first season, I won't say the animation was top up there, you know, per se. They switched off from like the usual animation stuff to CGI when they do the band stuff. But in this series, they just went, they're just doing all CGI for the characters at least. And I think that sort of works because if you have everything in CGI, that's just like, you know, not like a visual thing from switching back and forth and just like, this scene was CGI, this scene was not, but no, it's all CGI. And I think it may look better a bit than the first season, I don't really know. I can't remember the first season CGI on the top of my head, but I feel that this one looks better than the first season, so I'll give it that. Um, and then... The mu like overall, it was pretty good, I guess. Um, well, not everything in the anime CGI, mostly the characters CGI. The backgrounds look like like real 2D and whatever. Um, what else? Um, that was about it for. And so the episode overall. So the episode I feel was not bad. We don't really get a gist of what the whole thing is for the season, but um, assumingly. When you watch the second season, you're supposed to be acknowledgeable or like not like you know about like the rest of the girl bands from the the game and stuff because it was kind of weird how they sort of just throw like every single band in this episode. Like in the beginning of the episode, they play Pastel Palace, uh, Shuar and Dreaming. I think that's the first song. I can't remember songs on top of my head. But yeah, they show the song, and then you have this other girl who I think she's gonna be a main semi character in this uh, series, who's sort of like Marina san from the game, if you know what I'm talking about. She's like some kind of new character involved in the series who sort of like runs this music club thing called Galaxy, right? Not Circle anymore or Space, we're not there yet. And she might be a thing in the series, who knows? We just saw her like, oh, like Pop and Party, I need your help. You need to play at my place real quick because we need like a slot, you know? And then that was all she did in this episode so far, so far. Um, overall, 
aside from that, like, you have all the bands play at least one song in this episode, which I was quite enjoyable, actually. Um, you have after not after Glow, um, Pastel Palettes and uh, Happy World play, like, their first songs, which was, you know, they don't have as much songs as Afterglow, Roselia, and Pop and Party. They played different songs. Afterglow played Scarlet Sky, Roselia played Louder, which was... I'm a Roselia fanboy, sorry. Pot and Party played um, the ED from last season of the anime, the Happy Party thing, which is nice, nice touch. And then that was about it. This episode went by really fast. Aside from that, you have a lot of like sort of fan service, not fan service, but you sort of see like the characters and their like, you know, everyday life after like second season, or not, not second season, first season and Girl Band Party, like Rinko wants to become student council president and I should mention her new voice actor which is pretty um I didn't realize it at first but I'm just like wait a minute is this where they introduced the new voice actor and I didn't re actually realize that her voice is different and I'm, I got used to it I didn't really see a problem with it at first um yeah but you see Rinko become the president she's like trying to overcome her fears which is a really huge leap at least from what I see in the girls band party game or the first of all you don't actually even see Roselia in the first season, so I'll talk about it later, but yeah, you see Rinko trying to be student council president, Hina's student council president, um, what else happens? Akko's in the same school as everyone else, so she's like, a year has passed by, right? Yeah, that's that's what happened, that's what they say. So yeah, a year passed by and a lot of things happen that from the game and the anime, that's really cool. And then at the end of this episode, you have Roselia announcing a live, part, like a, they're, they're sponsoring a show, essentially they're doing a Roselia show, I guess, and then Pot and Party is like, you know, we're gonna do a show too, and then it's like, that's it. That was really it. Um, I mean, so far as the introductory episode, this is sort of cool, I guess. I mean, the only issue I have with this episode is that it, the the continuity continuity sense, I guess, because assuming you're watching this straight, you never seen season one of Bang Dream, which is totally fine, I think. Well. Is it totally fine? I don't know. You, you would assume that you watch season one of Bang Dream, then this, because it's explicitly says second season of Bang Dream. So if you watch season one, then go straight to this, then you just introduce these five different bands that you don't know of. And of course, maybe you know Roselia because there was an OVA where they have Roselia and Pod Party go at the beach and stuff like that. That was like one time. But then you go from season one to two straight, then you just like, oh, this is Afterglow, this is Pastel Palettes. This is Hello Happy World. Yeah, but then to know these people, you would have to go to the game. So I'm assuming that, you know, like, you went from season one to the game. So you have a general gist of who these characters are and, like, the interactions they have because a lot of the history in the game is transferred into this anime. So, assuming that you play the game, you understand the context in the second season, like, when, um, uh, is it canon? No, not canon. Um, Kaoru Senpai or Kaoru. Uh, go, like walks up into the backstage or like the whatever the back the chill room the rec room and then you see Rimi like being all like oh my gosh it's Kaoru Senpai fleeting you know that sort of thing she's like into like she likes him or whatever that's all from the game and I'm just like I get that reference because I played the game so then assumingly everyone who's watching this has played the game that's my only like thing because if you're watching first season then second season then it's just like what? like who's Who's Hello Happy World? And like, why is she in a bear costume or whatever? So, I mean, that's my only concern, but I think, assumingly, if you're watching this, you'd probably be playing the game. Well, no, you, you, I don't know, that's so weird. If you're watching this, and you've never played the game, which would be really weird, but let me know if you are, because I want to see your, I want to hear your perspective on this, because it's kind of a weird thing. But yeah, as someone who's watched the first season, played the game, and then watches this season, it all makes sense, you know? Um, that's like the only issue, or not the only issue, the only like thing that I see would see wrong with this episode is that if you're coming into this just from the first season or just from the game, well, actually, even if you're coming just from the game, you sort of, it's sort of, actually, if you guys play the game and you go to this, it doesn't seem that bad. The first season is all focused on Pop and Party and their like origin story and like how they came to be. So it's sort of, not exactly too important but you know it's just there um but yeah i mean overall i like the episode it was pretty cool for a second season of bang dream um all in cgi i mean i don't really have a preference for that if it's all in cgi then she went not they're not switching back and forth even though the animations from first season were kind of 
you know, not CGI. I don't really, have, I don't really care. But yeah, I mean, uh, it's pretty cool that maybe we'll get some more songs on this. I know they have like Brave Jewel, and the opening was new at least. Um, that's it so far. We'll see how this second season goes for. Actually, I have it right here. I want to see how long this is going for. Uh, we don't know. I'm assuming. If anything, if this goes for 12 ep I forgot, wait, how much was the first season going for? That's a very good question. I wanna see how much the So the first season of Bang Dream came went for 13 episodes. Interesting enough. So if this season goes for 12. I don't I have no clue. We'll see, we'll see what happens. That was just, this is just overall a first episode impression. Yeah? For my impression, I enjoyed it. I don't know if everyone else enjoyed it, if you don't know the context of the first season of the game and then this, but I enjoyed it overall. So anyways, that's it for the sick Taku. I kinda, my throat is acting up and you know, runny nose. Cause I've been talking for like, how long have I been talking for? 11 minutes, okay good, I thought the camera freaking stopped. Anyways. That's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Um, let me know your thoughts in the comments below of Bang Dream Second Season Episode 1. So, see you guys later. Take care, guys. And I still have a lot more anime to watch. See you guys later.